want the stock market to crash because I'd have to go back to work because I'm retired now. So I am for Trump all the way. We need him. We do not need a communist country. And Kamala Harris is a communist. People do not realize what she stands for. They want to vote for a black woman. That's all they know about it. They do not know what she's going to do to this country and how she's going to ruin it. Based on her fears that the stock market will automatically crash if VP Harris wins the presidency, it's pretty clear that this MAGA supporter only pays attention to what Trump tells her. Do you want to lose your job or maybe your house or pension because Kamala has the economic understanding of a child? She's a child. Do you ever hear her talk about the economic situation? Oh, me. It's crazy. She shouldn't be here. The presidency is a job held by Teddy Roosevelt, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Dwight Eisenhower, Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan. And people of strength and high intelligence, would you trust Kamala to talk to Russia or China about nuclear war? He's never communicated a basis for why his plans are better than his opponents, really, on anything. He claims he wouldn't be dealing with an aggressive Putin, wouldn't be seeing Netanyahu target innocent Palestinian and Lebanese citizens on a daily basis. And the economy, even though it is doing well, would be better only if he were in office. He rarely says the reason why or what he did, but when he does, it's overwhelmingly ignorant. Dana, I love you, you're so wrong. Trump, inflation was up 25% over the Obama economy he inherited. Ask him about Yemen, where he decided not to take action and allowed 100,000 people to keep on dying in Yemen. Talk to him about his tariffs. What worked with his tariffs? He had four years to make tariffs work with China. China kicked his ass. China took him to court, right, because he didn't know how tariffs worked, and it hurt the economy. The economy was rolling along, and it was got so hit by the tariffs that his appointment to the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, had to come back in and cut interest rates three times. And then we get to the real point of reckoning, the pandemic. And what does he do? <laughs> he says, if we don't test people, the viruses didn't really happen. He holds back on resources, except for Vladimir Putin, to keep people from getting healthy. That is not an accomplished president, Dana. He has not done anything. What he got, he inherited. Everyone has pointed out that Trump has no idea what he's talking about on tariffs, but he just keeps saying that they're great with zero evidence of it. He talks about health care and the need to repeal the Affordable Care Act. But as he now famously blurted out, only has concepts of a plan. This week, Mike Johnson got caught admitting that they're prioritizing getting rid of it when he was supposed to lie and say that they want to fix it. Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, was campaigning in Pennsylvania in a House district and was talking about Obamacare. Health care reform is going to be a big part of the agenda. When I say we're going to have a very aggressive first hundred days agenda, we got a lot of things on the table. No Obamacare? No Obamacare. Yeah, the ACA is so deeply ingrained. We need massive reform to make this work, and uh, we got a lot of ideas on how to do that. Notice the moment that he told the truth, then reset his talking points to claim that they want to reform it. No Obamacare. No Obamacare. Yeah, the ACA. Yeah, the ACA is so deeply ingrained. We need massive reform to make this work, and uh, we got a lot of ideas on how to do that. It's like the truth jumped out for a second, and then he had to throw it to the back of his head again. It was a perfect recovery, so that when someone asked him. He was ready with one of their standard excuses that don't make any sense. And they're twisting our words. So, yes, I was at a, 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 one of these events in Pennsylvania a few days ago, and a question came up about Obamacare, and I answered it very specifically. I said, the ACA, unfortunately, is deeply ingrained in our health care system now. Do we need further improvements? Absolutely. We need to expand quality of care, uh, access to care, and obviously lower the cost of health care. And I started talking about that. Well, they, they took a clip out of context and said that I said we were promising to repeal Obamacare. That's just not what I said. It's actually the opposite of that. Yeah. Um, and so that's the, just another example of what they, they have nothing to run on. They have no policies of their own. Ironically, the context that he took out of his response to it was when he said no Obamacare, as if he only talked about what he claims is improving it. They really don't have much of a leg to stand on considering who Trump wants to put in charge of our health system. I'll just read what Trump said tonight. He says, I'm going to let him go wild on health. I'm going to let him go wild on food. I'm going to let him go wild on medicines. Somebody explain to me why that makes any sense. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't do it. make any He's sense. Honestly, at the end of the day, that is terrifying. 
That thought is terrifying. This is a guy that was banned from Meta for disinformation about medicines. This is a guy that was pulled offline because of his massive disinformation about the vaccines around COVID. This is a guy and, who... And by the way, vaccines even long before... Long COVID. before. I mean, and like claims are completely... I, as debunked. someone was a child in school, I'm sure a lot of Americans have children in school, the idea of having vaccine mandates for all diseases pulled from schools, we're going to have a resurgence of smallpox, of measles, of polio. Why would we do that to ourselves? Who asked is for so that? Sad? He's promising the nation's health and science to somebody who is a conspiracy theorist on those very issues? I mean, one of the, the sub-agencies that he did not mention in that list is CMS, which administers all of Medicare and Medicaid. So do you want RFK Jr. responsible for your parents' health care? They don't care. The objective is to put guys in place that are willing to fulfill the obligation to be completely loyal to anything Trump wants to do, all while barking about how no one else knows what they're talking about. But nothing is more dangerous than to give immense power to a weak and, and not very smart person, just not a smart person. We need smart. In fact, I, I mean, I call for it, but I would love to have it. We should have cognitive tests for anybody that runs for president and vice president. Oh, how about that guy she picked for vice president? What a loser. What a loser that one is.